Thanks. Uh, I've got a question for you guys. Oi, does your brain even lift? Uh, if the answer is no, don't worry, because our next guests have developed a workout just for your noggin. Would you please welcome Russell Howcroft and Alex Waddleton. Hi, hey. 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 everyone. Now, uh, boys, first things first, the book is called The Right Brain Workout. Why do we need this book? Well, we need it because there's, a, there's actually a genuine issue um, with how we're educated. So 98% of five-year-olds have got you know, high levels of creativity, and we all know that. Even if we think back what we were like as kids and our own kids, five-year-olds, unbelievably creative. By the time they're a teenager, it's like 30% are highly creative. By the time adults, we're adults, most of us are not considered to have any creativity at all. Turns out it actually gets taught out of us is, is the reality. Yeah? So, you know, you're doing VCE, you're doing HSC, uh, you don't have to do art. You don't have to do any creative subjects. You've got to do your maths. You've got to do your English. There's some creativity involved in that. But we actually don't get taught creativity, creative thinking. We all have it in us, and yet it gets taught out of us. So the right-hand side of the brain is creative. And, Thank you, and what's, Pete, what's, yes. left, what's, what's the left? That's the more the linear, the more... Oh, I don't know. Forget it. Boring. There's a lot of blank pages or, like, you know, like half-filled pages. Yeah. Did, did you guys run out of creativity? <laughs> <laughs> The idea is hopefully that it will spark creativity. So what it is, it's 70 questions, so it's 10 weeks to retrain your brain to be more creative is the little subtitle. And so every day it's a different question written by a different, different creative person. So, in fact, Waleed has written one, Tommy Little has the, written the one. The greatest uh, Obviously, <laughs> obviously <laughs> I, 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 my phone number wasn't... Uh... You'll be in the next one. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, but other creative people, so like, like comedian um, Paul Foote has written one, um, photographer Stu Morley, other creative geniuses like uh, Tom Whitty, which you, got, who, you yeah, guys yeah. know, the musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the name all of them. We're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Every question is written by a different question. Yeah. Different creative the point person is that they get. found every creative person exactly. they could find. <laughs> yeah. Pete, we were actually hoping you could do a few of them and uh, get better and then you could contribute to the next one. I'm looking for the answers at the back of the book. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, well, should we read out a couple? Yeah. So we actually know what oh, kind of thing. Can I read one? Yeah, sure. I want to ask you guys this. Oh. Uh, number 59 is Nudie Run. <laughs> You've been arrested for public nudity. Give your version of events to the judge. <laughs> <laughs> on, well, Alex. It was all Russell's idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to work with Russell. Okay, oh go. God. I tell you what, though, is a lot of fun. If you actually ask mm. ask Google, ask Google any of the questions. Answer the question, Russell. Right, so you say, hey, Google, you know, describe what it was like to do a nudie run. And then Google literally says, I'm sorry, I don't know how to answer that question. Oh. Which, of course, is part of why this, uh, this idea is a really good idea. Because if we're always going to Google for the answer, well, that ultimately isn't what creativity is about. Yeah, yeah. we need to actually exercise the other part of our brain. Can I ask you why? I have a lot of my ideas in the shower. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like a lot of people... Like yeah. John yeah. Cleese spoke about this. Yeah. What, is there a reason? Well, I, think I mean, I have five-hour showers, so <laughs> it's eventually <laughs> going to come to... Well, I think it's when you're relaxed, you can sort of just get to freeform a bit more because when, like, when you're at your desk or computer, you're just so being serious all the time. And sometimes when you shower, you're singing away, you're just being a bit more loose. I think yeah. being loose and can, free is can good. Can I make an observation here? We had this chat in the meeting... Women have a two-minute shower. We don't have creative thought. Your other creative place of thought, Pete? <laughs> yeah. Not at all, of course. Of course. <laughs> and usually one leads to the other. Yeah. 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 Usually, usually I get out of the shower halfway through and then I go, I go <laughs> do you do that? I go back. No, no, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. <laughs> Take this away from toilet habits just yeah. for a moment. Yeah. If, if that's okay. Yeah. This one that doesn't make sense. 44, colour blind it's called. Draw the colour red using only a blue pen. Yeah, right? That's exciting. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the answers? <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing that we think is good about it, is that there's no right or wrong answer. So it's just like you come up with it and we've it's been interesting doing it with a few people and how completely different the answers are. I think that's really cool. It's not yeah. like... Look, Every person will have a different answer. I think that's really exciting. Like yeah. so, we're so locked in to do things the right and the wrong way. This way, it's all the right so way. So what I found when I because I, I love this by the way. As soon as I saw it, I just thought this is brilliant. It's a good idea, right? Yeah, a great idea. Yeah. But as soon as I started looking at it, I just thought there are so many possibilities here, but it actually hurts <laughs> to think of them. Mm, like yeah. to sit down and go, all right, no, I'm actually going to commit to coming up with the best story to tell the judge. Or a lot of right. public nudity ones in this I've noticed by <laughs> yeah, the way. Of course. <laughs> um, that were Tommy's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but is there something there? about discomfort, about actually making yourself mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Well, that was the wow. thing with the Google thing. Is like we're all used to so getting the answers all the time. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to not have the answer and just have to figure something out. And I think that's interesting because like, a lot of people do Sudoku and crosswords every day and yes. there's always this definitive yes, no answer. And this thing is, yeah. is no answer. Just yeah, throw so some fun. So you if know? you get stuff wrong a lot... 
this book is great for you. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. There is no wrong. Yeah, yeah, and there isn't there isn't a time clock on it either, right? So just take as long as you like. It's interesting, isn't it? When you're doing an exam, like let's say as my son has just done VCE, you do a three hour English exam. Why don't you just do the exam until you've got it done? Ah, I see what you're doing. You're trying to change the whole education system. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you very much for that. You can train your brain to be more creative with the right brain workout out now. Thank you so much, Russell and Thanks Alex, for joining us.